I'm Mimi Hope and I'm an artist. I'm going to make a Dutch mule. The clouds were inspired by um, a lottery poster I saw of a private jet flying through sunny, cloudy clouds. And um, it tapped into things I've been thinking about to do with advertising, hijacking um, dreams and aspirations and uh, my search for finding Satori or enlightenment in the city and those ideas were distilled into the clouds. It's a long process that starts with me taking photographs of the clouds uh, and ends with assembling them with lenticular plastic. Um, and it can take a few months to make a series. Um, I chose lenticular plastic because of its association with advertising and because I wanted a medium that expressed both movement and stillness um, as a kind of modern futurism. <laughs> Um, at the moment, my work examines um, how we can find consciousness or explore spiritual doctrine in the city. So the works come out of um, the city's processes or paraphernalia. Um, and my works are usually always quite sculptural. Even though I think of the lenticulars as paintings, they also have quite a sculptural element. The most challenging part of making the lenticulars is definitely uh, assembling them, assembling the lenticular plastic with the images. Um, to make a large lenticular, it takes about four people just to kind of physically hold it while it's being rolled. Um, so that's definitely the hardest part. All of my work requires a lot of manpower. Um, yeah, a lot of physical strength. Yeah, I have very good friends who help me out. I'm very lucky. <laughs> All of them, I'd have like a massive white room of all the clouds. <laughs> oh, I'm always exhausted at private views, so I um, went for a quiet drink with some friends and then collapsed into a cab home. <laughs> I think cloud days are pretty much done. I'd like to continue them as a series. I think they kind of can exist forever, um, but I'm done for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm lucky that was locked. That could have not been locked and gone everywhere. I'm moving into a new studio at Qubit next week, which is really exciting. And um, then I have new contemporaries opening in Liverpool. Uh, and then I'm going to Paris for holiday and hopefully I can sneak away to Marseille. Yeah, I think it's a really nice community um, and everyone's really helpful. Uh, and Trina and Martha give really good advice, so that's something that I'll miss. Oh, being opposite John, that was the best part, hands down. Um, because he's just so hardworking and it was really inspiring to be next to him. It looks so unappealing. <laughs> it looks terrible. Mm. Refreshing because it's so hot, but I think the presentation definitely needs some help. <laughs> <laughs>